What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV, and I'm back with another tech review. All right, now doing this one in my kitchen. I don't have any furniture really in this new place. My furniture has not arrived here from Spain just yet, so I gotta do this one here in the kitchen because that's where the best lighting is. So, excuse the setup in this particular video. All right, but here we are, we have the Surface Duo, all right? Now this one is, here's the box, Microsoft Surface Duo, boom, boom. The size of this and the way that it looks on the front of the box, it does look like a Nintendo 3DS, straight up. Straight up looks like that, Surface Duo, all right? Now this is the 256 gig model, six gigs, six gigs of RAM, and all that stuff. All right. There's the back of it. Boom. All right. Get this out the way. Um, actually, let's go in there. Open that up a little bit. I've already unboxed it. As you can see, it does have the bumpers already on it. So that's one of the things that were inside the box. As you can see, attached the bumpers. I already have that on there. Inside of here, this is the power cord that I haven't taken out. I didn't use it, but oh, let's open from that the right side. Open it from the right side. And that's the power brick. All right, put that back in there. I might actually use this one. I've been using my regular one that I had from this here, uh, this here S10 Plus. I just was being lazy and didn't want to get this out the box yet. So I put that back. I don't even know what this was. Was this the, oh, your SAM ejection tool and your books and stuff that nobody reads. Put that to the side for a second. And then this was your power cable right there. All right, so I'll probably open these up and use these a little bit later. I just was being lazy initially when I first got it. And not lazy, but I was just, you know, excited. I was in a rush so I could actually get the device out and play with it set everything up so i got this yesterday all right got this yesterday probably about five o'clock boom all right so you can see let me do a quick wipe down all right boom there it is i left the stickers on top of the uh bumper for right now um, but there was one that was all on the inside and everything. All right, so now we got to open up. Nice family picture. I was bumping that new Conway album right there. But boom, hit that side fingerprint, opens right up. All right, now, as you can see, I have everything already set up. This is my YouTube. This is probably the best thing for it. So I, on the side here, I got my YouTube open. Boom. Oh, Casey Knight's that video. Flossie just dropped his video. You know what I mean? Certain things going on. Straight pipes. Joe Budden pie. All right. So, boom. As soon as I opened the phone up and set everything up, I got like three updates. I feel like I was updating my phone for like 10 minutes when I first opened it up. So... A lot of the things that I saw in the reviews and and all that stuff, um, this is me, you know, on Instagram showing the phone. A lot of people were saying that it's not responsive and they're, you know, they're touching it and nothing's happening. But boom, look, open everything up. It's working for me. Either side, if you're coming from the bezel. If you're coming from the bezel, that's not where you're supposed to drag from. It's right here. Everything opens right up. I don't get it. I don't get what the issue is. Swipe, smooth. Everything's happening. Close that, open back up, boom. Do that, boom. You know, you just gotta learn it. You gotta learn it. One cool thing that I saw initially, let's go to Comixology, open that up. Boom. Let's go to, to mine, my books, 
Boom. All right, check out a little Black Panther there. Open him up. Boom. All right. Now, one of the cool things that I saw yesterday when I was testing this out was you open from here, put it on split screen. All right, so now you got Black Panther there, right? That doesn't look as good. That really doesn't look that good in this angle. But if you turn it this way, boom, now it's full. It's full screen, all right? Now it's time to start reading, all right? Boom. They split it up. It splits up perfectly for the comics on Comixology. And this was a big reason for me to get this device because... I was wanting to read a lot more and it's difficult to read it on something like a single screen phone and, and all that kind of stuff. This makes it separate. Look at that. It's perfect. Nothing. The bar in the middle is not really cutting anything off. It's perfect. You know, it's a little bit right there, but it's pretty much perfect. So I'm digging that. I'm digging how comics look on the surface duo all right now go back that doesn't look good so if you want to read comics comicsology read it this way all right now let's get out of here come back over here open it up boom now we back um yeah. saw the messages come down like normal Hit that. This is where I got all my messaging apps in there. Close that out. Boom. Let's see. Let's see. The camera. The camera was one thing that um, a lot of people are complaining about. This is a picture that I took of myself, like a little selfie action there. This is another one. This is the same picture, ultimately. But here's another one. I think it's okay. This one to me was a little, you know, tried to zoom in on my, my shoes there. That one's not the best. It's my wife and my dog. But some of the other ones with some good lighting, you can take some pretty decent pictures. All right. Let me open that back up again. Get out of there. Boom. All right. So this is me. Behind the camera, boom, photo, video, slow-mo, everything, all right? Now, if I want to switch it up, boom, close it around there. Oops, I closed it. I didn't know I closed it. Go that way. Boom. Now we're looking at the box. All right. Now that is actually the only issue with the camera that I've had is that sometimes it's not as responsive as like not as quick on the turn. It's doing it now, but right now. But sometimes when you're trying to turn it around, it's not as quick. Dang, of course I say that and it starts doing it perfectly. <laughs> but that's been the only thing is flipping it around. Sometimes it's not as fast. But overall, so far, you know, just after having it a few hours, let me close the camera out. After having it for, you know, not even a full day yet, I think it works pretty smooth. I think everything works pretty smooth. No complaints. No complaints from me so far. Um, does it have the, the greatest camera in the world like this S10, like a Samsung? No. But the main question that I keep asking myself, because I had a, a Galaxy Fold 2 pre-ordered. And I said to myself, yes, the Galaxy Fold may be the better phone. It may be the better fold for what I'm wanting to experience. I'm wanting to experience a, a foldable device, something so that I can multitask better than what I was on my S10 Plus that I've had for 
a year and a half, almost two years now. So I was looking for something for that, you know, to replace that and do better multitasking. Right. But I asked myself, is the Galaxy Fold 2, is it $600 better than this Surface Duo? Is it $600 better? Because, you know, I I really don't think that it is. I really don't think that it's $600. It may be better and it may not be missing anything. Like, it it may not have, this may not have NFC, it may not have wireless charging and that kind of thing. And the camera may not be the greatest. But are those things that it's lacking worth $600 when the overall experience, at least for me so far, has been pretty positive? I don't know. I get that all the, the tech reviewers out there are saying that this phone is trash and all that. And I may have to go to a store and and try out a Galaxy Fold 2 if there's one available so I can see for myself. But for right now, I don't feel that this is $600 less inferior than the uh, the the Galaxy Fold. I really don't think so. So I just wanted to bring out a quick look. I know I rambled a bit, but I just wanted to bring out a quick look at this and show y'all some of the features and how it works to kind of counter what some of the other reviewers are saying. But thumbs up if you like this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll holler at you in the next one. Peace.